Our top focus this morning amid heightened tensions, President of the world's two largest economies, the United States and China, Joe Biden and Xi Jinping are meeting virtually. The highly anticipated summit is expected to be one of the most extensive meetings under the Biden administration. Washington is hopeful of setting the agenda. And according to a senior U.S. official, Biden is going to make it clear to Xi that China must play by the rules, which is what responsible nations do. The official also added that Biden will steer the talks in a way which will be favorable to the interests of Washington and its allies. The United States said that talks with China will be substantive and not symbolic. The United States and the issues that the United States is going to bring up in the meeting are Chinese aggression towards Taiwan, setting terms of competition to avoid conflict, China's quote-unquote economic coercion and China's alleged human rights abuses. Now, the Chinese side, on the other hand, did not reveal much about its expectations from the talks. The country's foreign ministry said that Xi and Biden will hold a deep exchange of views on the strategic issue of their future relations as well. According to what's been agreed upon by both sides, President Xi and President Biden will hold a frank, deep and full exchange of views on the strategic issue of the future of China-US relations, as well as other issues of mutual concern. Washington and Beijing have been sparring on several issues, but tensions over Taiwan have taken the center stage. U.S. is a close ally of Taiwan, while China claims sovereignty on the self-ruled island. In the face of Chinese aggression, Washington has repeatedly signaled its support for Taiwan as it has not ruled out using force to bring it under its control. Now, Beijing has been concerned by Washington's move to deepen ties with Taiwan. She is expected to use this virtual meeting with Biden to warn America to step back on the Taiwan issue. Both sides have indicated that they will not give ground to the flashpoint issue. And now for more on this, joining us live is Casey Bab, Associate Fellow at the Royal United Service Institute and an affiliate with the Canadian Network for Research in Terrorism, Security and Society. Thank you so much for joining us. Also joining us is our correspondent, Susan Tehrani. But first to you, Casey, what can we expect from these high stakes, much anticipated talks now? Well, first off, thank you very much for having me. In, in terms of what we should expect, I mean, th there seem to be sort of two camps here. There, there are the, those who think that the, the meeting will, won't will yield anything uh, beneficial and will uh, uh, will result in, in very little sort of meaningful movement in terms of uh, uh, benefiting the relationship or improving the relationship between China and the United States. However, the, the other camp tends to, uh, to think that, you know, this is a, a, a real opportunity for both uh, the United States and China to improve relations and, and move the needle on a number of critical issues. I think that we need to fall somewhere in the middle um, and have really modest expectations here. Um, you know, this is the first meeting between the two leaders. It's virtual. Uh, it's a first step uh, for Biden and Xi to discuss uh, a number of really important issues that are sort of uh, hampering or impacting rather the bilateral relationship. And, and I think this is going to be an opportunity for two countries to sort of uh, maintain uh, the relationship and keep issues, as the administration has said, within the guardrails uh, and, and to really accelerate a sort of diplomatic dialogue into the future. Right, absolutely. Now, let's just go across to Susan one. Susan, same question to you. What are our expectations? What are people on ground expecting and hoping they will be able to achieve right now? Well, expectations have been set uh, very low. We're, we're not even expecting really a joint statement from the two sides after this meeting is over. However, the Biden administration has said that it wants to move beyond symbolism. And I think that that's also a message for his domestic audience as well. The, the Republicans really want to see mm, President Biden 
continue to have a, a solid and a hard hitting stance, notably when it comes to trade and and tariffs. And there is there is a growing concern right now that the Biden administration and the president himself will sort of uh, perhaps go back on the issue of tariffs in hopes that it will help the inflation issue here in the United States, something that Janet right. Yellen uh, mentioned as well. What she came out and said was uh, that uh, basically, you know, if this if there is a, a better uh, trade relations between the two sides, the issue of inflation will also maybe take a backseat or have, you know, will right. be better in the near future. However, that's something that, you know, the Republican Party isn't uh, very uh, happy with. They want to see the right. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.